Most companies run out of money because they don't realize they need to change before they run out of money. I've always been fascinated by aviation since I was a young kid. I spent weekends at the airfields with my family and my, my grandfather. And then when I was young, about 10 years old, I started programming, I started writing software. And um, when I was 22, so fast forwarding a little bit, I wanted to start a company on the intersection of aviation and artificial intelligence, which by that point in time, I had spent a bit of time on. I moved to Silicon Valley um, and started the company uh, initially to predict the price of airline tickets. And then that eventually evolved into building a company that underpins the decisions made by every commercial function of major airlines and auto travel and transport companies uh, around the world. The reason, or one of the reasons why I moved to the US was because I had given a talk at Launch Festival in, I say 2012 or 2013. And that video was watched by uh, Ali Reza Masur, who, who runs the Plug and Play Acceleration Program. And he gave me a call, I still remember this, and he's like, I watched this video, I think what you guys are doing is really interesting. Why don't you come to Silicon Valley for three months and stay with Plug and Play to see if this is something for you? Obviously, he's a phenomenal salesperson, means he can elaborate what he wants, he can elaborate what he has. And what is unique about the company from day first till today, the company is talking and doing the same thing. He has gone through a lot of ups and downs from building the company, growing the company, obviously it's a good CEO's job to go over the hump. But from day first, he knew what he wants to do until today, he basically is on that mission. And then what made him unique is that character that no matter how, he wants to make it happen. Plug and Play was not only the one that got me here, but they were also the first one to write a small investment to you know, enable that first exploration phase of building in Silicon Valley. They introduced us to customers like JetBlue, for example, and they've remained extremely vocal about wanting to see the company successful. And then from there, we raised our first institutional capital from Ulos Nike, from Streamline Ventures. And then after that, we raised money from Peter Thiel, uh, we raised money from Westcap, we raised money from companies like BlackRock and Silver Lake. Um, uh, we've raised about half a billion dollars uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, and we've grown from those 30 people at the beginning of COVID to about 700 today. I think early struggles are the same for most startups, right? Finding the right people, trying to find product market fit. So maybe I'll skip to a more specific example, and that is COVID. So we were about 30 people going into COVID in 2020. And our primary product was a pricing system for airlines. And of course, in 2020, every airline in the world stopped flying altogether. So it was an existential risk. We were able to raise bridge financing in that process um, by investors that made a bet on us. And that's something really important. We were able to get through 2020, find our product market fit and launch with our first customer, Air New Zealand. In the earliest stages of a startup, especially when you come from Europe like I did, and you move to Silicon Valley, this promised land of opportunity and technology and infinite capital, you think that you'll show up at a pitch competition and you'll you know, walk away with a million dollars from investors. Couldn't be less true. So I think one um, positive about entrepreneurs is that they tend to believe that anything is possible and they'll succeed every step of the way. At the same time, as a realist, you quickly learn that um, you don't just walk into a meeting with an investor and walk out with a bag of cash. So I think that was a, a good and, and, and interesting learning experience and kind of funny thinking, looking back, thinking that it would be that easy every step of the way. It's a lot of hard work and um, a lot of perseverance to get there.